What? Hey, my name's Dana. Welcome to Hickville Productions. Kick your feet up and let's have some fun in Starbound. Um, I literally was like, what shall I do this episode? I think I'll build that robot house I was challenged to build. And so I decided to just fly to the desert planet right next door to where I live. Um, and I walked three three dashes over from where I spawned down and in a chest on the surface. We have a teleporter core, so... Um... Okay. Well, I guess that's how we'll start the episode then. What? What is this? You trying to slap me? You can't even hit me. Do you even slappy? I'm invincible. Pumpernickel has reached a whole new level of being. Nothing can touch me now. Nothing. Okay, so that little... Oh, Rye. That's gonna take a while for me to get used to. And by the time I get used to him looking like that, that'll be when the next patch comes out. And he'll look completely different again, probably. Hi, Floof! Or Flib! Or whatever the flub I end up naming you. You're so cute. But you'll never be Fib the cat. So anyway. Oh wait, what am I doing? I don't have to actually fly there anymore. I'm gonna just teleport. I'm actually super excited they added that feature because oh my gosh, is that gonna save so much time? Hello, lady. So let's see, we have the core. Um, so what shall we buy? What one do we want to get? I've got 10,000 pixels. So, I mean, we could get the super fancy executive teleporter. Um, which I feel like would be a bit much. <sighs> the tomb doesn't really fit. Because this is going to go by the house. The This one kind of works. The wooden teleporter? Yeah, I like the wooden one. Let's get the wood one, because that'll look good by the lighthouse on the home planet. There we go, we bought a wood teleporter. Oh, also, they did. I forgot to look at this the last time we were here. They added a... Oh, nice desk. More drawers, cool. They added a cute little uh, crafting table and anvil, so you can do all the basic crafting stuff here at the outpost instead of having to go back and forth to your ship. Which is quite handy. Oh, man. Everyone looks different. Because I think this used to be that lady. That This this was the lady that wanted to befriend the dog. I'm not sure who you were. Or you. Or you. I think you might be almost the same. That was the one that sent me uh, to the floor and hunting party mission. That guy's the same. You're not the same. You look vaguely the same. That person's the same. Anyway. Oh, it's like a little cafeteria now. I can actually cook food here. Oh, that's so convenient. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, just think about it. It's gonna be like the last time I have to go dashing and running and jumping across this bridge. To get... To my house. N no. No, you ain't going to hit me, Squirtle. Um. <clears throat> Wait, did that just open the door? Oh my god! What? Since when did you become smart enough to do that? Excuse me! <laughs> Who gave you permission to just go waltzing in my house? <laughs> what? That thing didn't even have thumbs! I think. It might have had thumbs. 
Now, okay, here's the question. Where do we put the teleporter? Let me put it here. Or it would look. It could look really cool here. But here's the thing. Like we gotta. I gotta decide this like. Just one time because if I move it, the shell for the teleporter breaks. I kind of like how it looks there, but I kind of like it right here. But I kind of like it right there. But I kind of like it right over here. Or right over here. I don't know. Let's try putting it right. See what it looks like right there. I could accept that. Because that way it's still like an actual lighthouse and like the teleporter doesn't really place like the light feature. Now if they had a teleporter shell that actually was like luminescent and glowed like a big torch type of deal, I would totally put it in the top of the lighthouse because that would make sense. So there we go. Now we just gotta... Tip. Can I not like... Well that's kind of strange. You have to like actually jump onto it. You can't just run up on it like you would like one of the stair pieces. Let's see. Can I work around that by doing this? Yes, I can. Sweet. Uh, can I make you more stair like? You look kind of strange. Oh, uh, well, that looks kind of strange. But, uh, whoops, cancel. I guess it works. Bookmark. Name. Home. Should probably- I need to name the lighthouse still. I haven't done it yet. It's so bad. You know what? Here. Let's name it Lily. There you go. The lighthouse's name is Lily. Because it's a little lighthouse. So, little Lily. It's cute. Unless you hate literations. Then it's not so cute. I really actually do know someone who hates alliterations. Went to college with him. <laughs> Every time alliteration occurred in his vicinity and he heard one or saw one, oh, it was the funniest thing. He'd just be like, I hate alliterations. Oh my gosh. And he'd just go off about it. Let's see if I can find one of those like blank planets. Because that would be really good for building on. Ah! Barren and lifeless. Large scale construction. Cool. Add the bookmark. Um, constructionist. That's what we'll call the planet. <laughs> uh, fuel up. So while we fly over there. To constructionists, I'll just go through my inventory and grab whatever building supplies I might need. Let's see what one of these looks like. I haven't been on one of these yet, so... Cool. It's literally just a big, empty world. Let's see. Where should we put this thing? Right here seems good. Let's get started.
There you have it. Uh, robot house. <laughs> He's got kind of a. <laughs> he looks a little like. <laughs> um, it's not a big living space, but it's it's kind of quaint, you know. You got your little command center here. Um, I didn't have any glass on me, otherwise, like this part here would have been a big glass like pane, so you could like see out. You know, like, this is where you would steer him, essentially, if, you know, he could actually walk around. But, um, then you got, like, those sliding doors that go to these shoulders. You got his little body. His short little legs. But, um, then I decided... The arms... To give you a bit more room for living. I would add... A couple little houses, and I wanted them to look like they'd been ripped up out of the ground. Like, he just, he picked them up, and he's carrying them along with him. He stole some house from some random village and made it your own. It's part of your little robot house. So, yeah. And of course, he's got, like, a little antenna. Um, going into it, I, for some reason, had, like, a toy robot in mind for some unknown... I don't know. I just did. I pictured a toy robot. So that's what I built. A toy robot with a... Face and uh, holding a couple random buildings that he ripped out of the ground. Yep. Then I decided to add a little spray paint job. Um, so yeah, that that's our little robot guy. So anyway, um, that'll do it for this episode. I'm not certain what I'm gonna do for the next one. I think there was a few terrain things that were added in the update to check out. Uh, I believe there is now an underground slime cave biome. So, I don't know, maybe I'll look for one of those just to see what it looks like. Either way, if there's something else you'd like to see me try and game, go ahead and leave it in the comment below. Uh, you know, whether it's something you want to see me try to build, or, you know, just, uh, just, I guess, something in general, like a particular feature or something. I'll go try and check it out. Um, but yeah, I kind of seem to have seen everything. I, I think I've seen pretty much everything there is to see now with the new update. Um, to my knowledge, I could be wrong, let me know if there's something I missed. Um, but unless I think of something I want to do, uh, or try out, uh, it might be a little stretch between Starbound episodes until the next big update. Just cause, you know, I don't want to, like, drag it on even though I have nothing to do, that'd be kind of boring. Um, but you know, if you like survival voxel adventure type games, I am also playing Terraria with my brother, which you guys are probably familiar, is a very similar style game, though very different at the same time. Um, so feel free to join us on that until Starbound picks back up into a more regular swing again. Either way, thank you very much for joining me for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope you have an excellent day. Give yourself a hug for being awesome, and I hope to see you and all y'all in another video. Until then, later! Or not. Nope. <laughs> Back very quickly. Woo! Wee. Hey! This Whoa. is a very flat ocean. I have never seen an ocean this shallow. This is very unique. This Any is turkeys. And an ocean this shallow? Well, we got crabbies. Well, yeah. Oh, there's a shark. Hey, it's a sharky. Ah, hey, look, we can just fly up and out.